Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be creating an email button in WordPress. And our disposable WordPress instance was set up using InstaWP. This service has amazing free and pro features. Pro plans start at $9. So check out their website. It's InstaWP.io. Okay, so here we have a page and we just want to add a button to this page. So let us click the plus icon here, then type button in the search box. Click button. And here we have a button. Now we need to add some text to this. Let's um, type email us. Okay. So now we can style this by looking over on the right. We have fill and outline. Um, and in terms of typography, we can change its size. There's also a custom option. Um, border radius, we can make this more like a peel or have straight edges. In terms of color, um, we can change the text color as well as the background color. There's also the option to use a gradient instead of a solid color. It's also possible to customize your gradient. So right now I'm simply changing the angle of the colors. And it's also possible to change the width of the button. So uh, there's 25%, 50%, 75% and 100%. And at the bottom, you also have advanced options that you can configure. Now I'm going to add the email link. So I'm going to click this link icon in the toolbar. Now, what you want to type is mail to, colon, then your email address. So I'm using example at example.com. So you always want to ensure that you have mail to at the front of the email address. Click submit once you're done. So just ensure that everything looks okay. And to test the button, click preview at the top right hand corner. You can choose a device, but I'm going to preview it in a new tab. All right, so let's scroll all the way down, then click the email us button. Okay, so it should open your email client and have your email address in the to section. So all a user would need to do is enter a subject and a message. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using a link instead of a button. Okay, so let's get off this preview and go back to our uh, our editor. Okay. And by the way, you want to click update if you're happy with how your button looks. All right. So let's add some text below this button and we are going to turn this text into a link. So let's type something like email us and highlight the text, then click the link icon. Now, just like we did before, let's type mail to and um, the email address. Then click submit. Okay. So now if we go over to the top again, uh, top right, then click preview in a new tab. Let's wait for the page to load. Scroll all the way to the bottom, click the link. Okay, so it opens up the email client with um, the to field showing the email address we entered. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using Elementor. And you should have at least the free version of Elementor to follow these steps. So let's close out this preview. So we're going back to the editor and I'm going to remove all of these blocks. So I'm going to remove the link and the button. I'm also going to update the page by clicking update at the top right, then click edit with Elementor. Okay, so this is the Elementor page builder and we just want to add a button. So make sure you're on the um, elements section and type button in the search box and drag the button widget to this area at the bottom. So now you have a button. Now you can edit this by uh, changing the text. Let's type email us. And in the link field, let's type mail to. And then the email address that we want to use. So it's example at example.com. And you can also make changes to um, the button alignment. Um, you can change the size as well. You can make it large or small. And at the bottom, you can add an icon and change the icon spacing. Um, if we go over to styles, we see that we can change the typography and add a text shadow. Uh, we can change the text color. So right now I'm making it red. Uh, I'm going to change it back to white. And you can also change the background color. So I can make it blue, which is a solid color. But you can also have a gradient color. So if you choose gradient at the top here, we can change um, the gradient color, the location, 
of the blend and the angle. So you can always go through these options to um, configure your button according to your style of choice. Let's go over to border radius. You can make this appeal by rounding out the corners and also adjust the padding if you'd like. So we are okay with these changes for now. Let's click preview at the bottom. All right, so here is our button. If we click it, it opens up our email client one more time. Okay, so now you know how to add a button in WordPress using the Gutenberg editor and Elementor. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.